Today's video is going to be my 2016 updated makeup collection and storage. Um, before we get on with this video, I do want to come on here and say that I'm not bragging in any way. I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys my makeup collection and storage so maybe it can possibly help one of you guys if you guys are in the hunt for a new makeup vanity or whatever the case may be. I do want to go ahead and show you guys the way I have my little setup up, especially if you guys do live like in a small apartment or just an apartment in general, you don't have a lot of room to work with. Uh, this is perfect for you guys. Um, again, I don't have a lot of makeup like a bunch of other people, but I do have more than some, so keep that in mind. Um, but nonetheless, I hope you guys do enjoy this video, so let's go ahead and get on with my makeup collection. Okay, so here is a little mini overview of my whole vanity area, including the chair. Now, this chair I got on Amazon. Um, I don't remember how much it cost, but I will link it down below. This pillow I got from Hobby Lobby. It was on sale. It should still be there because it's part of their Christmas collection. Um, it is just a gold and cream colored uh, pillow. It's really, really cute. It does have that deer head going on right there. Um, I will show you guys another piece of decoration that is white and gold and has that deer. Um, but yeah, this chair I did order off of Amazon. It does swerve around. It kind of reminds me of like a, um, don't mind that right there. Right here, this is just some lighting that I have on there so you guys can see this better. Um, but anyways, yes, I did order this on Amazon and it does kind of remind me of a um, kind of like a barber status type of chair because it does spin around and it does have that big um, that big disc in the bottom and it, it does go up and down and now when you remove that you guys can see that when you remove the pillow you can see it does have some of that quilted on there I will say that this particular chair if I go ahead and zoom in to the actual part which you sit down, um, I don't know if you guys can see right here, like on the actual part where you sit down right here. I will say that this little area right here, I don't know if you guys can see, when you sit down on it too hard or whatever, there is something that pokes you. I'm not sure if it's a screw or what, but like when I'm going like this, I can feel it. And it really, really, really does hurt if you put too much pressure on that specific area that's the only area that I feel it on so if you guys do end up purchasing this or if you guys do have it let me know if you guys do experience that but again if you guys do plan on purchasing it there is a little pokey thing right there but nonetheless it is a really 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 nicely made chair it is really really nice and it does feel like a nice sturdy chair it is really really luxurious I think and it does have that and then in the back there is nothing special also I do have to say that um, if you have kids or whatnot and their little hands get on it it does um, you know it does tend to get a little dirty but um, if you don't have kids, you don't have to worry about it. And it does have a zipper right here. I'm pretty sure you can, like, take it off. I've never done it. Um, but I still really, really like it. And like I said, it does go up and it does go down. I also will say this, um, you can also, like, lean it back and, or, like, lean back on it and lean forward on it. It is very, very, like, movable. I don't know how to explain it. But I, I still really, really do enjoy this chair. It is really, really comfortable. And it does look really, really nice with all of my setup okay so this is the whole overview of my vanity um, without the chair of course I moved that out of the way so here is just my vanity it has two drawers right here and then where you guys see that little hole right there that actually does lift up and it has a mirror and it has more compartment compartments in there um, again I will be opening that up for you guys and showing you everything that is in there but if you go ahead and you move the or if you look up I do have this uh, canvas painting right on top of that. I do plan on putting um, some shelves next to it or something up there just to add a little bit something more. Um, but like I said in the beginning, I do want to go ahead and just show you guys my uh, makeup collection and like vanity setup for 2016 because I will not be changing it probably till next year. So 
Anyways, but yeah, so this dear head, let me go ahead and zoom it in. This is actually something that I did paint myself. I went ahead and I just got a canvas, some gold paint, and I kind of, I, I didn't print it out. I don't know how to explain it, but I like kind of like traced out the deer head, um, like on a piece of paper with the light of the computer. I don't know how to explain it. If you guys want to see a do-it-yourself on this uh, painting, I will more than gladly be like, I will more than gladly show you guys how I did this. Um, but yeah, I just pretty much traced it, painted it, and put it up, and I really, really like how it came out. I saw a painting similar to this at Hobby Lobby for literally like $45, and it looks just like this. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and move back down. I'm gonna go ahead and start from the left side to the right side. So let's just go ahead and move over here. We'll start in sections. Um, so the first thing that you see right there is a mirror. I believe I got this one off of, uh, I got it at Ross. Okay, so I did get this mirror from Ross, I believe. It was about like 15 bucks. It is the brand Revlon and and it is one of those that you can hook up and then adjust the lighting. I will say that the lighting isn't really that good in this, but it gets the job done. Um, it's good enough for me for right now. And it does have the normal side and then the enhanced side. And then right next to that, I do have this lipstick holder that I did get on Amazon. Oops, I will, uh, I like, again, like I said, I will be linking everything that I mentioned down below. But as you guys can see up here, I just have um, liquid lipsticks and a lip gloss. I have some of these Revlon, uh, what are they, the Color Burst Matte Lip Balms. Um, all of these are the ones that could not fit in here, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, but yeah, right here I do have some of these L'Oreal. This is the Lilac and the, the La Matte. Um, I guess you could say like lip crayons. And then, here, let me go ahead and put it around. And then right here I do have my Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I have Bow and Arrow, Lolita, Lolita 2. And then right here, these are all my ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lips. I do have a lip swatch video on all of these if you guys do want to check it out. Um, then right here, I have my Tarte Tarte Lit Glossy Lip Paint. Next to that, I have my NYX. Uh, this is the Ultra. It's the Ultra Matte Lip Cream. I have the three my three dose of colors liquid lipsticks. I have that Stone brick and then I have chocolate wasted right here behind that I do have two of these ultra or Ulta um, matte lip creams I have the red and the purple I have one of these Rimmel show off lip lacquers I have a lime crying I think these are the velveteen um, like liquid lips um, I just got the one in pink velvet I got a NYX liquid suede liquid lipstick and then again I have one two three four five six I have six of these Revlon color burst matte lip balms you guys remember when these came out a long time ago let me go ahead and show you guys so these are all of the um lip balms so these acrylic holders do hold up to 24 lipsticks but as you guys can see like these skinny ones I can actually fit two in there and then as well as the Kat Von D ones, I can fit uh, two in one slot. So give or take, depending on the size of the, of the um, liquid lip or the lip product, you can either fit two on there. But uh, for the main part, like regular lipstick, you can only fit 24 in these. So I think that is really, really good and a really good number. Okay, so in front of that, I do keep my new Me Mega Star hair straightener. This is a really, really, really good straightener. I think this is probably the favorite one that I have ever used. It is absolutely amazing, and it's really, really, really good for curly hair. If you guys have curly hair. And then next to the, or on t under that, I do have this little silicone mat that I just got at Walmart. It's one of those pot holders. Uh, this is the only color they had. They do have multiple, multiple colors, but this is the only one that they had at the moment. So I just go ahead and put that 
on top of that when I am done using it to prevent damage to the actual desk. So next to that, I do have this three acrylic uh, drawer. Again, I got this on Amazon, and I will zoom in so you guys can see the products and this a little bit better. But next to that, I do have these drawers. And on top of that, I'm going to show you guys what's on top of it first, and then we can go ahead and zoom you guys in so you guys can see what's in there. So on top of that, I just have this little dish that Naughty Me, I actually, ex not accidentally, I stole from one of those Japanese steakhouses. And I pretty much just hold like everyday earrings, bracelets, I have a um, memory card in here, so that's just what's in there. And then I also do keep this choker that I got from a Fashion Nova up there because I have no other place to place it and I really, really don't want to damage it. So I feel like it's safe spot is up here. And then also up here I do have some hand sanitizer because it is very, very important to keep it closed to anywhere that you do your makeup because clean hands is very, very important. And then next to that I do have my Murad Oil Control Mattifying SPF 15 um, Lotion. Again, sunscreen is very, very important for your skin, dark marks, aging, um, and all that good stuff. So this is specifically made for your face, so I really, really do like that. Okay, now let's go ahead and zoom in to the drawers and we can go ahead and go in more detail. Okay, so these three drawers hold a majority of my everyday makeup. Um, also, these little knobs were uh, silver, but I spray painted them gold, um, hence why there is this accidental thing on there. I have no idea what these little, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see, but I have like a little, little stain on there or something. I don't know what it is, but if you guys um, watch my vlogs, you would know that this came out of nowhere. And I protect this like crazy. I put tape all over it and all that good stuff. But anyways, so in this first drawer, and these drawers do completely come out, if you guys can tell. So in this drawer, I mainly have primers. Well, all I have is primers. And then I have eyebrow products. So I do have a Kula sample face primer. I have a sample of the MAC Prep and Prime. I have the mini version of the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. I have, of course, my Smashbox Photo Finish um, Pore Minimizing Foundation Primer. I have the Master Prime by Maybelline. And then I also have this Milani uh, Prime and Shield Face Primer, the pore minimizing one. And then as far as eyebrows, I have everything you can think of as far as eyebrow products. I have a sample of the Dip Brow by Anastasia Beverly Hills, the NYX um, Eyebrow Gel. I have my concealer that I like to clean up my eyebrows with, which is the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. I have a sample of the Benefit Cabrow. I have my eyebrow um, pencil. This is the Tarte Eyebrow Pencil um, that came with the with this is the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Brow Mousse. It came with this, but I like to use it for any like gel products. Of course, I have the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I have a Elf um, eyebrow pencil right there. I have the e.l.f. Clear Eyebrow Gel and Mascara. I have the NYX Micro um, Eyebrow Pencil. And then I also have my NYX mm, Wonder Pencil. This is just in the color medium. Again, I do like to clean up my brows with that. And then last but not least, in here I have the, let me see, the L'Oreal. This is the Brow Stylist, just a little pencil. So that is what's in the first one. Okay, so in the second drawer is where I have my everyday powders, and these are all of the concealers that I own, and I also do keep a CarMax uh, in here because my lips are very, very dry. So I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, the Superstay Butter Skin Concealer, I have the Naked, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, this is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Pen, the Maybelline Fit Me. I also have the Narj uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer. And then these are two of like my everyday setting powders for my foundation. And it is the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Powder. And then I also have the Maybelline Met and Poreless uh, Fit Me Powder. 
Then in the third drawer, this is all of my mascaras and eyeliners. And again, I do have another chapstick in here. So, so these are all the mascaras and eyeliners that I do own and that I do use on a daily basis. Okay, so right here I have my Too Faced Better Than Sex, Sex Mascara, my Rimmel Lash Accelerator. I have a sample of this Clinique Mascara. I have my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black, my Maybelline Lash Sensational, and then I have like NYX eyeliners. I have this Lancome Sample Eyeliner. I have some Maybelline, L'Oreal, all that good stuff. All of those eyeliners in here. So that is the last drawer. And then right next to that, I like to keep all of my setting sprays. So right here I have, this is the Maybelline Master Fix. Um, wear boosting setting spray. It's one of the long lasting ones. I also have a Smashbox primer water. I have my Mac, my Max, my Mac Prep and Prime Fix Plus, and then I also have the All Nighter setting spray by Urban Decay. As you move on over here, I always like to keep a candle just right here um, to keep the room smelling good. This is just one that you can get at Walmart. It is just the Rustic Lake House. These are only $5.99, you guys, and this these candles are literally amazing. They make your whole room smell really, really good. I have one of these here and then one of them in the living room. This one just smells like a guy's cologne, which is what I absolutely love. Or I also love like really clean scents. It's either a guy cologne scent or um, the really clean fla flavors, the really clean scents. So whenever I get ready, I like to light it up, just move it to the side or whatever. So that is just right there. So I am going to move this to the side because I do have to open this compartment in a second. And then as you move on to the far right section of the whole vanity, here is where I do keep all of my brushes. These two holders are actually recycled candles. This is actually one of the Walmart recycled candles. And then this one is, um, I believe this is one of the Glade ones. And then I just went to Michael's and I got like the plant filler. It was literally super cheap to get the plant filler and it did the job. And then this I just got at Walmart. So, let's just go ahead. So right here is all of the eye brushes, face brushes, and then here are all the dirty ones as you guys can tell. Here's the beauty blender, I just keep it on the little beauty blender holder, and then I do still have my e.l.f. Kabuki brush. And then of course next to my brushes, I like, oops, I like to keep my Sephora Color Switch by Veramona. This stuff is awesome, I absolutely love it. So, as far as brushes, I have anything from BH Cosmetics, I have some Real Techniques, I have some of these, um, these are the LAB uh, brushes that you can get at Walmart, I have Sigma, I have ELF, I have an Anastasia one right here, this one is Kat Von D, and yeah, so just Real Techniques, ELF, um, all that good stuff, Sigma. Um, BH Cosmetics, all of the known brands, and I also do have a little, um, this is a Sonic Kashuk one, and then I also do have a Wet n Wild one, so I just have a bunch of different brushes from everywhere, and then of course I do have my uh, Beauty Blender right there. So when you move down from your left side, here will be one of the drawers that you guys saw earlier. Um, as you guys can see, I also did spray paint this gold. Uh, it is in one of my vlogs as well. So I did spray paint this gold because it was silver, but as you guys can see, it's kind of chipping off a little bit, so I might have to go ahead and go over that once again. Okay, so when you go ahead and you open this drawer, I have all of my eyeshadows, single eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes in here. Um, and this drawer comes out all the way until right here. It does have like a little stopper in there that stops it. So I do have all of my eyeshadows and eyelashes. So as you guys can see right here, I have the Carly by Bell and BH Cosmetics. Um, the 10 color eyeshadow and the 4 highlighting palette. I have my Z palette that I have um, Makeup Geek and Morphe eyeshadows in this one. I also have the Tarte Tartlet in the Bloom um, eyeshadow palette. I have the Wet n Wild AU Natural palette, a really, really good affordable palette. And then I also have the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette. 
of course I have the awesome, this is probably one of my all time favorite palettes, is the Anastasia Master Palette by Mario Palette, beautiful. And then along with Anastasia, I do have the Modern Renaissance Palette. I also have the Lorac Pro Palette, the original one. And then I do have two of the Morphe eyeshadow palettes. I have the, this is the 35F and then this is the 35O palette. And then I also do have some eyelashes because if you guys know, I just uh, started wearing eyelashes. So I just have two packs of the Kiss number 11s. These are my favorites. I do have this pack of eyelashes that I just got from Amazon, but I feel like they're a little bit too long for my eyes. Um, and then I also, of course, along with eyelashes, I have eyelash glue. I have the Duo eyelash glue, and then I have the Revlon one. I haven't tried the Revlon one, but I'm so excited to try it because I do. I have heard good news. I have good heard. I have heard good things about that. And then I also got this NYX um, glitter primer because you guys will see I do have some eyeshadow primers. And then I mean some eyeshadow, some glitters. And then here I have two of the infallible, uh, these are the L'Oreal infallible, um, like eyeshadow pigments. I have two of those. I have, this is actually a sample of Max Vanilla Pigment. I have two of these Wet n Wild single eyeshadows. I have a glitter and then I have just a normal one. I have one MAC eyeshadow. This one is in Mythology. Then I have, here is where that uh, glitter pigment comes in handy. I have two of the NYX glitter pigments, one's in bronze, and the other one is in, let me see, copper. So I have a bronze and a copper. And then in here I also have just two sharpeners. And then I have an eyelash curler. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six color pop. Uh, single eyeshadows. I got these from a kit. I really, really, absolutely love all of these ColourPop eyeshadows. They are just so creamy and velvety. So I have six of those and that is it. That is all that is in this drawer. Okay, now we can go ahead and move on to the other drawer in the left. Like I said, it does come with two drawers. So in this drawer, I pretty much just have a bunch of random crap. Again, this one does come out all the way. So in here, I pretty much just have a bunch of these perfume samples. If you guys, again, watch my vlogs, Please don't mind the glare of the sun. I have a big window over here. Um, but anyways, if you guys watch some of my vlogs, you guys would know that every time I order something online, um, I always get perfume samples. And then I also keep some pens in here and like markers and stuff like that because you never know when you're going to need it. I have this sock that I wear for my sock bun. It's literally just a sock. I have all of, or I have some of like my hair clips and stuff in this little baggie. I have some hair um, combs and stuff like that. Um, I have some more samples by here, just like random samples. I have another one of my Murad Oil Control um, uh, sunscreen face lotion in here. Um, I do have this NARS Guy Bourdain palette right here. Um, just because, me personally, I didn't really enjoy that palette, but it was way too expensive to throw away, so I just keep it right there. I know, I know I probably shouldn't do that, but it's okay. Um, I have a rundown knife in here because uh, to open packages, or to also, if you guys have like a... Uh, MAC palette. I gotta sometimes pop out the blushes so I can go ahead and see what the name is on the bottom. I don't know. Random. Um, but yeah, just have a bunch of random stuff in here. Um, nothing too interesting. A lot of hair products and a lot of samples in this one. Okay, so now we can go ahead and move on to the middle compartment. As I did mention, you can pop this open. Um, so this is where the rest of my makeup does live. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. As you guys can see, it does come with a big mirror. Okay, so as you guys can see on the inside, it does have four compartments. It does come with this little divider. Of course, you can take it out or whatever, but I decided to go ahead and leave it in there. Um, so it is really pretty, pretty cool that you can customize it, take this out, leave it in if you want. As you guys can see, I do have it separated in different categories. So right here, I do like to keep all of my fabric 
foundations. Over here is all of like my setting powders, face setting powders, under eye setting powders, and all that good stuff. Over here I have the rest of my lipsticks. I do have two of those acrylic lipstick holders. I have lip liners, lip glosses, all that right here. So everything that fit here, I kept it here that wasn't too tall. And then over here I have all of my blushes and highlighters. So I guess we can go ahead and we can start off over here at the... Um, foundations because I do feel like I have a lot of foundations. Okay, so as you guys can see I do have quite a bit of a foundation because I feel like foundations are some of my favorite things to try out. So I have anything from high-end to drugstore. I have NARS, I have some Revlon, I have some Estee Lauder, some Born This Way from Too Faced. I have both of the L'Oreal Infallible, the Pro Glow and the Pro Matte foundations. I have two different colors of the L'Oreal True Matches. I have the old school packaging of the Kat Von D uh, Locket Tattoo Locket Tattoo Foundation. No, Locket yeah, Locket Tattoo Foundation. I have the uh, Revlon Color Stay. I have two of the uh, Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundations. I have the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Foundation. I have a OG, like old school um, Maybelline Super Stay makeup. Uh, this has only been used a couple, maybe like once or twice, so I think it's so good. Um, and this is just a shade way, way too dark for me. Um, I figure I can mix this with some louder, lighter foundations if needs so. I have the Milani uh, Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. And then I also have the Color Girl, I can't really get it out, but I have the Color Girl um, Stay Fabulous Foundation, the 3-in-1. Also a sample of the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation right here. Okay, so right in front of the foundation's little area, I do have all of my lipsticks and lip glosses, lip liners all right here. So again, I do have two of those acrylic holders. So here is one, here is the other one. Um, and right here, I mainly have a lot of drugstore lipsticks because I feel like drugstore lipsticks are probably the best, one of the best things in the drugstore next to foundations. This, these are all the Rimmel ones. And then right over here in this first row are all of the Wet n Wild. The, I forgot how much they are. I think they're like a dollar or like three dollars. So here are all of the Wet n Wild ones. And then after, so right here is where the uh, Rimmel ones end. And then I have right here this little section. So one, two, three, four, five. I have of the Revlon, oops, I have of the Revlon regular, just the ones that come in the black tube with the gold packaging. I do have some lime crimes, so obviously these purple ones right here are the lime crimes. I know there has been a lot of controversy with lime crime, but I actually purchased mine before all that happened, and these were way too expensive just to throw away. So I am going to go ahead and use them up. So I do have, I have seven of the just um, regular lime crime lipsticks that come in these cute little packaging. Then I have two MAC lipsticks right next to those. All of these right here are L'Oreal, including these. So these are L'Oreal. Have some in the gold packaging, the ones with the celebrity. This is the JLo one. And then I also have, these are just the L'Oreal color reach ones so I have two of those and then in the middle right here since I didn't have anywhere else to put these so I do have this uh, Maybelline color jolt I have another one of the wet and wild lipsticks but this was the Fergie collection and then in here I do have the uh, lip combination from the Chroma Kardashian Beauty so I have it's like a lip liner and like a lip uh, lipstick and then the lip gloss so I just keep those in between both of those um, lipstick holders um, but anyways next to these L'Oreal lipsticks I do have all of my Maybelline right here I have one Milani uh, lipstick which these lipsticks are absolutely amazing I need to go pick up some more and then right here again between the lipstick holder and like where I have the lip glosses I do have all of my lip liners so I have a bunch of NYX lip liners, I have a Rimmel one, and then I also have a MAC one. And then right here I also do have two of the Maybelline, those lip, um, forgot what these were called. Oh, I have two of the Color Elixir lipsticks from Maybelline. 
and then um, over here in this last row, I do have all of my lip glosses. So right here, these are all buxom, like mini lip glosses that I did get from like a little holiday set. And then over here, I have my NYX uh, butter glosses. And then I also do have one of this uh, NYX lip extreme like lip paint thing. So that is all that I have as far as lip products. And then right next to those lip products, this is right in front of the face powders and stuff like that. We'll move to the face powders here in a second. But right next to those lip products, I do have um, all of my blushes and highlighters. So as you guys can see right here, I do have the Anastasia Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. I also have the Becca, I don't think you guys are going to be able to see that because it's too bright. I have the Becca and Jaclyn Hill face palette. It comes with three blushes and two highlighters. And then I also do have the e.l.f. blush, uh, the quad in dark. This is a really, really good blush palette. It is really, really super pigmented, and you really have to use a light hand with these, but you, for three bucks, or six bucks, this is definitely worth it. Then I also do have two of the Milani baked blushes. I have my MAC. Uh, blush palette that I did customize myself so I have six uh, eyeshadow I mean six blushes from MAC I have the hard candy tiki highlighter or bronzer but of course you guys can see it's a highlighter I have the Becca champagne pop um, and Jaclyn Hill highlighter. This is probably my all-time favorite highlighter. It is absolutely amazing. And then last but not least here, do not mind the mess in here because like I said, these get pretty messy. Here is a little sticker my son gave me. Isn't that cute? Anyways, um, but yeah, last but not least, as far as highlighters, I do have two of this sleek um, highlighting palettes. This one is in the also oh famous Solstice, and then this one is in at Clear, and then this one is in Cleopatra's Kiss. Okay, so now the last little section of my little cubicle thing. This is all of the powders, face powders, under eye setting powders, just pretty much setting powders in general is right here. So this one is the one next to the foundations and right behind the highlighters. So like I said right here, I just have all of my um, setting powders. Mine is these two things. These are just way too big to fit. And well, actually, we can go ahead and move these two to the highlighting palettes or to the highlighting and blush section because these are highlighters from Wet n Wild. Technically, they're supposed to be bronzers, but again, they are way too light to be bronzers. So I do have the Wet n Wild color iconic um, supposedly bronzers, but obviously highlighters. I do have the one in Ticket to Brazil and Reserve Your Cabana, which these are gonna go ahead and move to where I have all of my highlighters and blushes. Now, we can go ahead and move on to the powders. So right here, I have another Wet n Wild um, makeup item. This is the contouring palette, and this is the one in Caramel Toffee. It does have the yellow powder and then the bronzer. And then speaking of yellow powders, I also do have my tried and true Ben Nye Banana Powder. This stuff is just absolutely amazing for setting underneath your eyes, and this also really does help keep you matte. So yeah, do have that. And then of course I do have my Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder. This is just an absolutely amazing setting powder. And then right here in this little row is where I keep more of like the bigger items that these don't really fit in, I guess you can say. Um, so right behind that I do have the Airspun Loose Face Powder, just a translucent one. In front of that, I do have the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder. Again, another amazing powder. I also do have this Mary Kay Setting Powder. This is just in the color Translucent. It does have a little hint of glitter in this, so it does give you like a kind of sheen to your face. And in front of that, I do have this NYX Color Correcting Powder in the color Banana. Again, another yellow setting powder, which I have completely forgot about, so I think I need to go ahead and move that over here so I remember to use it. And then in front of that, I do have this Mary Kay. This is in the color Beige too. This is just their um, foundation powder. 
And then I also do have the Milani Powder Foundation. This is in Natural Touch. So it is just a powder foundation, but I personally just use it for some added coverage. And then last but not least, I have the L'Oreal True Match Powder in W7 Caramel Beige. Okay, so now that we're done with this whole top area, I why not go ahead and show you guys what goes on on the bottom. I do eventually plan on getting some shows right there so it can be more um, organized. But for now, I just have everything in those bags. So let's go ahead and get into those bags really quickly. Right here in this first Sephora bag, I have all of the hair products that I use on a daily basis. So I just have some hairspray, some L'Oreal hairspray, some more L'Oreal hairspray. I have my Kenra Platinum Silk Line Mist. I have a L'Oreal Boost It High Lift Creation Spray. Some more hairspray, a dry shampoo, and another dry shampoo. So pretty much anything that you can think of that, you would, that I would probably need on a daily basis for my hair is in this one. Just so it can be in reach, but like I said, hopefully soon I can get those drawers right here so it can be more organized than just having them in the bag. And then right next to that, I have another Sephora bag. And here I just have some more earrings, again, just to keep them in reach. I do have them in this little tackle box, so this is just all of my earrings and stuff like that. It is a very, very convenient, and it is awesome to travel with if you just have them in a little tackle, ba ta tackle box. Um, these are just the ones that you put all your fish and stuff in, but hello, city girl. City girl decides to put her jewelry in there. And then, of course, I do keep some baby wipes right here because, again, if you're going to have a makeup section, you need baby wipes and hand sanitizer and Q-tips. And then in here, the next one, I have some more jewelry. I have some belly rings that are in this bag some bracelets, I have some empty boxes that I have no idea. Does anyone else keep like their high-end like special boxes? Or am I like the only weirdo that keeps them? But I have some of those in there. I have some of these cosmetic wedges that, that I use for baking sometimes. Um, so yeah, just a bunch of boxes and jewelry and stuff like that. And then over here I have a bunch of, again, just different stuff. I have some cards right here some birthday cards this was actually part of a sephora like sample thing if you guys watched that vlog you guys would know i got hooked up i got some sunglasses in here just all of these sunglasses that i own my sunglass guarantee or warranty and just just a bunch of random stuff and then this little bag right here this random bag is all a makeup that i'm gonna give away to my brother's girlfriend which i just have to go ahead and mail that out to her so that is everything that i have on the bottom of my vanity and that is my completed makeup collection and storage um i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did definitely give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are not don't forget to leave your comments down below and again thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye